If you're starting AFK Journey, I'm going to give you the best tips and tricks to know about this game. Pay to win or free to play. Doing these things will optimize your progression to make you stronger. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. First and foremost, let me clear up something right off the bat. Although it's called AFK Journey, I would say like 25% of it is actually AFK. You get AFK rewards through time not collecting it. And these rewards increase through progression in the game. And really the only other AFK thing is actually battling if you're doing it on auto. However, you can slow it down and you can turn off ultimates. And I'll talk about that here in a second because it can benefit you. But the majority of the game is manual. Exploring the map, getting rewards, honor duel, which is one of my favorite battle modes, arcane labyrinth, which battling is AFK, yes, but there's a lot of choices you can make manually. So let's get on with the tips and tricks to help you progress through the game. Number one, follow the main story as far as you can. This will help you in progression and unlock certain things as well. You follow the main story until you're hard stuck. And yes, optimally, if you see things on the ground, like little yellow items that you can pick up or gathering plants, do that if you see it. But I suggest pushing the main story and when you get stuck, you go back and you can explore the map. And by exploring the map, you can see everything on the map that you have missed except for the little yellow items and plants on the map. If you do it this way, you will gain in strength, and when you go back to old content that's on the map, if you're stronger than the enemy, then it's a quick auto battle. You don't have to waste time doing the battle. As you see, I'm auto killing all these monsters super easy, and then I can collect my chests or whatever the case may be. These are the kind of items that you don't see on the map that you may miss, which is gold and plants. But like I said, if you're hard stuck on a battle, this is where you go back. But just because you're hard stuck on something might not mean you're hard stuck. You may have just tried to auto it to see if you win. And you may lose that way just by auto battling. But you may want to try different team comps. Maybe you had one support in the first try and now you want to try two supports to keep your front heroes alive. Slow down the battle, turn off your ultimates auto. There could be certain situations where like you have two healers here and you don't want them to use the ultimate at the same time, it doesn't make sense because your team may be at full. Crystal usage, use your crystals on summons, but you really always want to have a reserve. Pay to win and free to play. I highly recommend to at least save enough for the AFK reward reset, for arena challenges, for those coins for the shop, and enough to get your daily refreshes. Make sure to always have a reserve of at least like 500, at least until you do about 400 summons so you can unlock Stargaze Station, whether that's in all hero recruitment or rate up recruitment. However, I would always stick to all hero recruitment. Banner heroes are typically always power creep heroes. They're amazing at the current point in the game, but then they always fall off or get power crept. Two things to focus on till the end of the day. One is the daily AFK instant rewards because you'll be farther progressed in the game at the end of the day. This will optimize the amount of AFK rewards you get. And also Dream Realm. You can always do this in the beginning just to make sure you don't forget, but I would always save one or two battles to the end because your heroes will be stronger again at the end of the day. Another tip, don't be a loner. Join a guild, even if you don't want to communicate with your guild. Just join it, participate when you can, because in the Emporium is where you get the daily summon and the daily acorns. Not to mention guild coins, so that you can get these sigils. And speaking of the shop, this is why it's important to do arena and max those refreshes, because you can get sigils of the legendary heroes, along with doing Dream Realm, especially free to play. So you can focus on those epic heroes that you are focusing on. Next tip, get as many friends as possible. Again, don't be a loner. 
You can get those through friend requests, and there's also suggested four friends a day you can try to add. Another quick tip, go into your members of your guild, but you can go into your guild mates and add them too. You can also find new friends on the map by inspecting them and adding them as a friend. The reason this is important because in your friends list, you send and receive gifts, and by sending gifts every day you can collect hearts. This is for infinity items that you can buy. If you don't know, in the resonating hall in your hero selection, there is an affinity button at the top right. You get affinity by using these heroes for one. Two, the plants you collect on the map, you can increase their affinity. Also, be always on the lookout for team ups. These are the corrupted creature dungeons. You will get hearts here as well. You can also get great rewards from doing this. Again, explore your map. You can kill all the monsters in one day. The next day, monsters will respawn. And even puzzles. I've already done this puzzle and I can do it again. You'll be getting a ton of extra rewards by just doing these things again, checking the map. Another tip is about your heroes. You may be going into this game knowing what kind of team comp you want or what monsters you want to focus on. However, due to the RNG of summoning, you may need to switch up your team. When you get dupes and you ascend them, they get more stats and become stronger. So if you're getting more dupes of one monster and you have an epic plus Merrily compared to an epic Sessia, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be doing better with that monster. That is a higher rarity. And last tip mainly is in regards of resonance levels. Now you can level one hero 10 levels above your lowest hero resonance. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that because the higher level of resonance they are, the more materials it takes to level them up. And when you get gatekeeped in the main story, there's always resonance levels that you need to be above. So make sure to level up this resonance kind of equally for the main story, it's usually a resonance level like five more. So always go for like benchmarks of like here, I'm going for level 60 for everyone. Then I'm going to level my best damage dealer up to 65. Then my tank to 65. Then any other frontline heroes, whether that's a warrior or a rogue to 65. Those are the ones that take the most damage in the front line. Then lastly, I'll do my supports. Doing all these tips will help you progress in the game as optimally as possible. That's it for today's video. Just wanna give you ultimate tips and tricks on how to progress. If you end up liking this video, sub, like, ding a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.